In July, the Youth Cabinet went to speak to groups of young people to find out what issues concern them and what services they use in East Sussex. I, I became homeless about three and a half weeks ago now. Uh, I went down to the council as soon as I knew I was going to be homeless. Uh, Charlie's, where we are currently at the moment, they, they're a real help. They, they push me in the right way to get hot food and you know hot food in my stomach and, and everything else. And it, it's really services that aren't really that publicised. Um, I don't think there is a lot of information for, for people who have become in my situation, younger or older. Um, I don't think there is the relevant information from people and places just to let you know just exactly what is available for you. It's totally unacceptable what police carry, such as pepper spray and batons. I think we should be able to participate uh, in police matters that concern young people. I think that they need to go across the board um, and take a general mix of people um, and actually resolve issues. Maybe even get a, sort of like a, a youth offending team of younger people aged between you know 16 to 16 to 19 maybe 20 um, and they can you know go around and if there is an issue with with certain younger people because they have grown up within this generation they will be able to dissolve it because they can relate to the people that are doing the incident the fact that um, you know there, there are main sponsors like Nike and Adidas that are making clothes with hoods doesn't necessarily mean that we are we are a gang culture they, sh they should get us somewhere to go on the weekends and it will save much more crime and it will save much more damage. I think the solution to it is they should get something like Charlie's where you can play pool and just chill instead of going out on a Friday night and then constantly complaining that we're wandering the streets. So if we've got somewhere to go, then there's not going to be any fighting and smashing bottles and stuff, so no one's going to get arrested and pointed the finger at. <laughs> Working, I know a lot of young people that have are young and they, they can't physically go out and get a job because they're too young and they want a job to earn money. And there's not jobs out there that like, will let them get a job because they're too young. My social worker doesn't really come down to see me. I haven't seen my social worker in a couple of months and they're supposed to visit you like once every six weeks or something. And um, she hasn't come down for quite a while so I haven't been able to talk to her about things that want to be changed. The last two or three social workers I've had, um, they've all been trainees. They never last long anyway, it's only like two or three months. I've had like loads of social workers and they haven't bothered but the social worker I've got now is a really good one because she's actually come to see me more often and she's sorting out my problems. I think a good social worker is someone who comes around when you need them, not just because they have to, but when you actually need them there. I think a good social worker is when someone's like reliable and they're there for you whenever you need them. Um, a good social worker is um, someone with a good sense of humour um, someone that you will listen to you and is positive about the things that you say to them. What I think a good social worker is someone you can talk to about if you've got problems, suggestions, like, say if you like, upset you want to see your mum, you could just ask them to arrange to see them, go and visit them for like, a few hours. Sometimes I think kids in care, um, they get a bit bubble wrapped and they're not really allowed to do what they want sometimes. They should be allowed to do things more freely, more opportunities.